custom act and making it into a hackintosh. Um, I, so I just want to go over the build I'm going to be doing with you and where I got this build. Um, first of all, I got it from TonyMacXC6.com. This is the November Buyer's Guide on his website. You do not need a form account to access the Buyer's Guide. So that is really easy and very simple to access. So if you're interested in doing this, you should head over to his site and, he, and you can get set up there. So I went with the AMATX build right here. Custom this is this the custom AMATX computer. Um, so first of all, I went with the Core i5 4 4670K. Um, here I'll show you this. It's a um, this is the Intel Core i5, like I said. This is a quad-core processor clocked at 3.4 gigahertz with six megabytes of cache. Um, this processor is very great for hackintoshing. Um, it does not have built-in graphics, unfortunately, but I can. But it will still be one. It will still be great um, for speed in the computer. And that rings in at 234.99. Um, secondly, we have the motherboard, which is a Gigabyte Z87LGA1150 Crossfire X DVI HDMI MATX motherboard. Um, this thing is very, it's great. It, um, it's very versatile. It has lots of ports for you to know, plug stuff into. First of all, we have the uh, RAM ports here, right here. Um, over here is the CPU socket. You got the ports back here. There's two. There's the USB 3.0. There. You got your um, HDMI. That's VGA, DVI. I think that's HDMI. You got USB over there. And here are your PCI connectors for connecting graphics card and stuff like that. There's your CPU stock. Um, for the RAM, I'm using 8 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance. Um, this is two 4 gigabyte sticks. It's DDR3, um, 1600 megahertz. This is 240 pin. Kit memory. It's a kit for Core i5, Core i5, Core i, Core i3, Core i5, and Core 7 platforms. Uh, for the case, I went with a Rosewill Micro ATX Mini Tower Computer Case, a dual USB 2.3.0, dual 2.0, it has dual fans and a 12.5 inch card line and it's a black case. Um, up in the front here we have a 120 millimeter black backlit blue fan. Here up here you can see that we have some the USB 3.0 here, two of them, two of the um, 2.0 and you have your power button. Jeez. Okay, power button and some other things. There we go. You better be able to. So power button you got your microphones, reset buttons, clicking around randomly. Cut. Then you have your USB 3.0 and USB 2.0. Um, I'm using a Corsair CX series 500 watt ATX EPS modular 80 plus bronze ATX 12 volt, 12 volt um, EPS 12 volt 4, 456 power supply. Um, this is great. It comes in a 430 watt option, a 500 watt option, 600 watt option, and a 750 watt option. For this build, I only need 500 watts, so I'm going to use the 500 watt build. Um, this power supply here. I also need a drive, so for that, I'm going to be using a C8 Barracuda, um, 1 terabyte HDD, um, SATA, 6 gigabytes per second. Um, NCQ, 64 megabyte cache, 3.0 inch internal bear drive. So this thing is really nice. It rings in at um, 6203 
it's a great option. You can go down to 250, 250 gigabytes. It's up to two, two, 320, um, 500, one terabyte, one and a half terabytes, two terabytes, three terabytes, and four terabytes. Who needs four terabytes of storage? Anyway, you can still get that. Um, and I wanted a Wi-Fi card in this um, in case I wanted to use it away from my modem, which I won't. But I still wanted this. Um, this is a TP-Link TL WDN 4800 4, 4, dual band wireless N900 PCI Express adapter 2.4. 2.4 gigahertz and um, 450 mega and it has the low profile bracket. Um, so this also has an option for a um, graphics card. I decided not to use a graphics card, but if you really want to see it, here it is. This is a um, EVGA GeForce GTX 760 superclocked. Super cocked with EVAJ ACX cooler, 2 gigabyte, right, um, GDR5, 256-bit dual dual link DVI 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 I DVI D HDMI DP SI ready graphics card graphics card. Woo! It's a big old graphics card. Um, it's recommended with that uh, like quad core processor. So, I'm not going to use that, it kind of pushes into the price limit here, I wanted it to come in around $650 and it does. Um, I went, I also looked at Tony Mac X86's form here, and he lists some other graphics cards that I can possibly use here, such as the GeForce GTX, the G, the, no, this is a Gigabyte GT 640 DDR3 2 Gigabyte card, it's $89, great. I think this card would be great. Like I said, I'm not going to use it. Um, also, a lot of people are wondering, this is a, it comes with um, thermal paste pre-applied to the um, heat sink for the processor, so you don't no need to buy that. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for more videos on my project here, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!